So both fifth and sixth graders get to play their first recorder tune for the Christmas program. And wherever you want to play it, hot cross buns, it sings like this. Watch my left hand is on top and I'm going to sing play with the first the finger, the thumb, and the finger on the B position, and then two fingers down on the A position, then three fingers down on the G position. Now, when the third finger goes down, it's very common that my first finger will want to do a a jump out of the chair thing that is so easy to do for little kids and big kids too because their fingers never got trained to not do... Oh, oh, oh down it goes. Okay. Hot cross buns, and I have to keep that finger down. Hot, hot cross buns. Did you hold your fingers down? Use your right hand to make sure that finger stays down when you play. Do it like that until your finger catches on that it shouldn't fly away just because this finger is gone down. <laughs> Try it. Make sure your thumb and your finger are all in order where they are feeling that, that magic little tiny circle of the key. Hot, cross, bun. And it plays it again. Then it does one a penny, two a penny. Here we go, one a penny. Then this finger comes up, two a penny. Hot cross buns. We'll start with one a penny, two a penny, which is halfway through the song. And here we go, you may play along after me. Your turn. My turn. Well, come on, I gotta get it right. One penny, two penny. That's the two tunes that it is. It's one a penny, two a penny, and hot cross buns. And the song is made in this form. First is one hot cross buns, and again, hot cross buns one a penny two a penny hot cross buns that's the way the whole song goes we're going to just do the whole song now because those two tunes those two bits make up the whole thing now if i do my one a penny two a penny like this it sounds like this. Hear that? Now listen to this one. I'm just whispering. Instead of going. You can hear the difference. Instead of. You can choose which sounds better. But I think most of us will probably want. So we're. Tickling our tongues. Here we go with the whole song now. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Play with me. And some sixth graders want to do hot cross Christmas bunnies because they want to wiggle their tongue faster. Christmas bunnies. Well, you can play it that way. If you want to, if you fifth graders are good enough to join the sixth graders, you probably can. You might have to ask permission. Here we go, hot cross buns, the fifth grade version. Here's the Christmas bunny version the sixth graders will like, maybe. (laughs) 
You may play this over again and practice it if you like. <laughs>